I challenge myself to find a purpose for every single square meter of the apartment and to avoid any waste of space. The apartment is located in Madonna di Campania district, which is in northwest of Turin. On the street you can find uh, coffee bars and several uh, Italian deli. The building was built in 1957 and it has never been renovated since then. This is my oh so versatile chef pan from Maya who also happened to be the sponsor of today's video. With this one single pan, I can make this whole meal. More about how I use my Maya pots and pans at the end of this video. My name is uh, Davide Minervini. I'm uh, an Italian architect from uh, Turin, a uh, city in the northwest of Italy. And I am also the owner of this apartment. The apartment was in very poor condition the configuration of the space was not functional at all. There were also several structural mistakes that I tried to eliminate or at least hide during the renovation. The room on the right was the bedroom, while the room on the left was the living room with the kitchenette. The first things I did was to switch the bedroom and the living room around, so you are in the living room when entering the apartment. I demolished the entrance corridor. It was a terrible waste of space. I then increased the size of the bathroom by extending the bathroom walls. The old kitchenette was turned into a walk-in closet and the kitchen was moved to the living area into a custom-made wooden wall which stretches across the entire room. There is a small entrance as you enter the apartment. Here you'll find a storage wall which separates the entrance from the bathroom to create some privacy. For the living room I wanted to create two different areas despite it being only 18 square meters. A living room on one hand and a kitchen and dining on the other end. Along one side of the wall I created a custom floor-to-ceiling integrated storage unit. For the inside I chose to use MDF with an oak laminate. It contrasts well with the white and makes the inside feel warmer. The TV is mounted on the wall and it is linked to the storage unit on the left. This is where I keep my PS4 and Amazon Alexa. There is a compact grey two-seat sofa that makes a natural separation between the living and the kitchen and dining area. I painted the ceiling black to enhance the white of the walls even further. The floor in the entire apartment is a light natural wood. On the other side of the living room is the kitchen. It sits by the balcony so it receives a lot of natural light. The kitchen appliances are cleverly hidden away behind some folding doors when not in use. This way, the room can be transformed from time to time according to its use. There's a sink, an induction hob, an oven and a dishwasher. One of the drawers is oak, just for a bit of fun. I choose to have the splashback finished in a bright blue which really pops against the white of the kitchen. The dining table is from a local furniture shop. The table can be extended when I have guests over. Last Christmas, I had 14 friends over for dinner in this room. Above the living area, there is a ceiling lamp that lights up the sofa and the ottoman. In the dining area, there is a custom triangle light that points to the dinner table. It is made from wood and polycarbonate. I designed it just for this space. Along one wall of the living and dining area, I installed four IKEA pegboards in a row. It is really handy to be able to hang items or store them in small containers. Plus, it's really cheap. The hallway divides the living room and the bedroom. It is deliberately as small as possible. It houses my washing machine. 
The bedroom is a 15 square meters room. This room used to have a kitchenette, which I turned into a walk-in closet. It is quite a luxury for a small apartment. Beside it is another custom storage unit and large mirror. The walls in the bedroom are painted in the same bright blue as the kitchen splashback. It creates a visual link between the rooms, especially when the doors to the living room and the bedroom are open. By the window there is a large wooden desk for when I work from home. There is a niche by the desk with shelves. I added a translucent door to keep my personal belongings. It also functions as a light. To make it easier to access the bay window when it needs a clean, I designed the top of the desk to open up like a bar counter. The original bathroom had a strange corner by the window. It was not functional at all, so I made a translucent partition made from wood and polycarbonate. It became the place I used to hide the boiler without losing the natural light from the window. For the finish, I choose to use a black floor resin with black elegant wall tiles and black paint for the rest of the wall. The ceiling and shower walls are white, which gives it a uh, three dimensionality to this small room. Small spaces can be as elegant, fun and comfortable as bigger apartment. Tiny living spaces must find their quality and distinctive features to be attractive and comfortable for the majority of the people who live in cities like Turin or even bigger. Since joining NTS as a content creator, I've come to appreciate the versatility of multifunctional design. So when Maya sent us some products to try out, I immediately put dibs on this chest pan. It quickly became my go-to piece in the kitchen. With its non-stick coating and deep profile, the pan works wonders on my egg fried rice. I'm team induction, and boy do these pans heat up fast. Plus, no stained bottoms. If I can get away with using a single pan for the whole meal, you bet I will. But you know what the best part is? There's three more of these bad boys in the set. We've teamed up with Maya to give you 15% off. See link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.